One of the things I actually asked Melissa was, you started with an army of Kryptonians. How do you level up from that for season two? Um, well, we have Superman, and then we have Linda Carter, so we feel like we're, we're going to be okay. Actually, Superman is an interesting thing because one of the criticisms of Supergirl from people who don't understand kind of comics is that she's just female Superman. Do you feel like actually having him be able to stay on screen for more than a couple minutes gives you a chance to kind of show the ways yeah, in which... Yeah, no, and I think also, like, it was a choice not to have him on the show last season because we did want to establish her. And she's not... She was not our... You know, it's not like we couldn't get Superman, so we did Supergirl. We wanted to do Supergirl. And frankly, I find her backstory m even more complicated and interesting. She spent 13 years. Look, there's nothing harder than being a 13-year-old girl on any planet. So to be 13 and to lose everyone you know and everything. I mean, she's a refugee, and she has, like, the depth of her backstory. Clark grew up here. He was a baby here. He doesn't have, and for him, the tragedy is he doesn't have any memories of that planet and of where he's from, but she does, and I think it informs her in a really interesting way, and so for her, like, looking for where she fits in is a very complicated question, and so having Clark on this year, like, it is the only part of her family that's left now that Laura Bonatti is off being Melania Trump, um, and she's irreplaceable, so, uh, Milan, uh, not Melania, but Laura Bonatti is irreplaceable, uh, just to be clear. Uh, and uh, sh so it just gives us a different window into Kara and, frankly, into Clark and to a Superman that people haven't met before is a Superman that has Supergirl in his life. And so I think it's kind of fun to see both of them. Now, uh, one quick last thing. I love the idea of ending on that mystery. Um, here at Comic-Con, obviously, there's going to be presumably a trailer. How do you not give that away and still give people a sense of what's coming? Well, what's great is that we haven't started shooting yet. So it makes it much easier not to give it away when uh, we haven't filmed it yet. But um, I think the good news is I think people are going to be really excited when they find out. And I think it rewards both comic book fans and non-comic book fans. I mean, I don't know who's not a comic book fan. Um, but if those people do exist, uh, I think. So So the balance, it's always hard because, you know, when you come here, it's almost like you wish you could do Comic-Con at the end of the season. Because then you could kind of like, you have all the cards laid out and you could really get like a deep dive conversation about all of it. It's hard because we want to tell everyone. It's that hard. Th it's like as a fan, I want to know everything but then I also don't because I want to see it and so hopefully our audiences have enough faith that we're gonna uh, turn over those cards in a way that makes them excited and and emotionally satisfied well, thank you so much I really appreciate your time no problem